Hello, welcome to episode of Goatman Games. Let's play Disney's Chip and Dale. I'm playing this on the Steam Disney Collection. So let's get started. I will play as Dale. It was always one of my favorite games as a kid. Let's see if we can beat it. I beat it before, but we will see if I can beat it now. The apple, they're so heavy, makes me not jump so good. Right, we have crates as our primary weapon that we pick up throughout the stages. You can hide on them with your eyes peeking out. They don't like a booby trap. Oh, messed up there. I will probably mess up a lot in this game, just because that's who I am and what I do. Enough flowers, and we get an extra life that will scroll across the screen that we can grab. Enough stars, and that same thing will happen. Uh, I don't usually mess up too badly until near the end of the game. I may take a bad death here or there if I'm just messing up in general, but I can usually get through most of the game uh, fine. Until the end. Then uh, the last level on the way to Fat Cat is sometimes a problem for me. Some, most of these will take one hit, some take two, uh, but everything dies in one hit to the trap set up there where you're crouched down inside the blocks. These metal blocks do not go away, as you can see. It makes them quite handy, but you cannot throw them across the screen, only straight in front of you. There's something I want to try. I don't know. I don't mind. I won't worry about it. Actually, yeah, let's give it a try since I got the two. I do not remember if there's anything special on this ledge over here. Okay, there is not. Yes, yeah, so you can make the uh, steel blocks hover by moving what's underneath them. So you can make your own staircase into the heavens. Doesn't really do a whole lot of good, but you can do it. Uh, the game does have hidden stars in some locations that are just invisible, as you saw earlier in the first stage, if you were paying attention. I don't know if you were. Uh, acorns will restore our hearts, as you have seen me do. There are two types of acorns, one regular and one flashing. Flashing will restore two. On ready to open a hole for us. Oh, boss time. Pretty much all the bosses are fought with a nice red ball usually have one damageable area. That boss was just a machine built by the professor to try to kill us. Right, bonus area here between each stage. One up is almost always on the top there. It's like one or two stages where it isn't, for whatever reason. All right, let's go to A. You don't have to do all the levels, uh, just most of them. You see them there, they are laid out in a pattern where you can avoid a couple of them. Um, side paths. Most, not all the game is, it's, the game's a good mix of horizontal and vertical climbing. I will take some bad hits like that from time to time, especially on this level, because I forget where they come down from, and I'll do mistakes like that. I do not remember if there's an acorn. There is good too. Alright, false time. Most of these levels are not too long. There's a few that get some length to them. Uh, if you're holding the button, you can catch the ball. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to that because I was talking, so I didn't avoid them. You can throw the ball up or straight. Some balls is going to be hit above you, some can be hit uh, horizontal to you as they appear, or descend in some cases, like the owl. So let's see. Um, okay. Let's go on to C. We will skip B probably. Ooh, the library. I'm not taking death here. 
I was paying attention to our route, we probably should have gone B instead of A to avoid the library. Uh, library is not too bad. There's just one or two spots where I tend to mess up. That is not typically one of them, but it was today. Sometimes you'll find it worth grabbing a good star. Uh, a lot of boxes. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes there's nothing. Sometimes you will find a few extra here and there. Gotta be a little careful on that jump there. You can, I think, go over the kangaroo, tennis playing kangaroo, but if you miss jump, you'll take a hit, and then that can sometimes just be a bad chain for you. As the kangaroos take two hits to kill. Sometimes you just have to make sure you have a fox with you, and I might take a bad death here because I got a couple of hits I should not have from the kangaroos. Oh, well, extra one up. Let's see if I can avoid dying. One more hit will kill me. Yep, there's the extra one up I was talking about for clicking enough uh, stars and four flowers. Alright, Zippo, as we saw in the first level, is amazing. He is invulnerability. That also kills enemies as he flies into them. He, however, doesn't last very long, and I died because of not paying enough attention to his duration. That's fine, we did get the one up. And a death where we were wasn't a big time loss. So. It should be fine. This time we will just be a little bit more proactive since we're not looking for an acorn. So. Uh, the P there is, I think, strength, which means apples will no longer slow us down. It matters so little in the game, though, sadly. I think apples is the only thing that slows you down. And there's uh, not a ton of them. Right, go to D. You can actually accidentally go to the, uh, the wrong path on those forks, just if you don't hit the button to change direction. Right, this level used to be quite difficult as a kid for me. Uh, at parts. I, I, will, I would beat it. It would just take a life or two from me here and there. Uh, you can see the trap boxes there that animate themselves. Because they're a darker color. stars. You can uh, hit them with the boxes to make them spin fast, and while they are, they will not hurt you. One of the tricks I had to learn as a kid to help me get past them in some areas was to be better with my timing on getting through them. Uh, these rabbits can be irritating. Try to avoid taking damage from. But we should get through them without too much problem. I'm not going to farm all of the flowers I can, but I will grab a few here and there. Now, these turkeys take two normally, but you will see the trap does kill them in one. Uh, metal balls will fly out of these uh, tubes. Unless you turn them off, and if I'm not, I'm going to screw this up entirely and not be able to turn it off. So I just hit my head on that one. Okay, we just screwed up. Let's see if we can keep going anyway. Uh, 
I, I don't think I've ever screwed up there before, but first time for everything, as I just did it. Those pink blocks normally blow up as you go by. They didn't trigger for some reason. I was going to jump over him there, but you just walk under him. I don't think there's anything in these boxes there. So we won't worry about wasting time grabbing every single one of them. Now you can see I'm no longer slowed down by the apple. My jumping is fine. Oh, extra one up. I remember reading that there's a way to regain a life when you die. Uh, it's about opening the menu, closing it. Uh, some sort of button press will let you just regain the life you lost. I don't remember offhand, I've never used it. Uh, probably was there for the testers back when the game was in development, just so they could guarantee having enough life to get through the game. I think that's where a lot of cheat codes came from originally, uh, were testing tools for the testers, if, since not everybody's good enough to beat certain games. I might take a bad death on, or two on this level just because of jumping issues. Uh, there are no enemies in this level, if I recall correctly. Just uh, a lot of holes and a lot of steel balls. I say still. They might be pewter for all I know. Oop. Took a bad hit there. Should be fine though. Oh, okay, there are some enemies on this level. I forgot there are a few of uh, those turkeys, vultures. I think I called them turkeys earlier. I don't actually know what they are. It's been a very long time since I've seen the cartoon show, so. Don't recall if they're actually in it or not. This might be where I take a bad death or two. Uh, as you can see, with the platforms, you can just fall to your death. And there is no scrolling back down. So if you screw up your jumps there, you will die. And there is no boss at this level. I believe it's the only level without a boss. Team. G is not the last level. Spoiler alert. Oh. Look at those take. Okay, they only take one. They will throw their hats at you, though, so be careful of that. At least they do it at later levels. I don't know if they will at this level. They don't seem to be doing it at this level. Later levels, they will throw their hat, I believe. And that will knock you out of the crate. So you can get the crate knocked off of you by a hat, and then just run into you. So... Some of these levels you can tell are really good at getting extra... Uh, ...lives in, because of just how many stars there are. Or flowers and stars. Flowers will be your primary way. It takes more flowers to get a 1-up than stars, but there's just so many uh, flowers compared to stars in the game. Oh, got another strength. Another P for power. And yes, these are bombs. They will explode uh, in your hand if you're not careful. Buzz bomber right there. Flying towards us. Now, because of the route we took, I think B is actually one of my favorite levels because uh, you go through a kitchen. Uh, having to go through water faucets and over a stove with pots in it.
one reason is I will play that level and this level is well. I really enjoy the aesthetic of where you're playing a small character, be it something like this where you're a small chipmunk, or something like Sarge's Heroes, uh, Arm Men, where you're playing Toy, Toy Story, various things. Uh, I like the aesthetic of the giant uh, everyday items. For like, Sarge's Heroes, our Army the Games, having giant toys, uh, same for Toy Story, or this level having, you know, oversized uh, light fixtures, and except for the other level, the having to jump over the pots and all, and faucets. I just like the uh, aesthetic of being small in a game compared to other objects. The, the objects. I would like for some more games, some more good games to come out and do that. Alright, you want to see how easy way to beat the boss? Stand about right here. You can avoid those two spikes entirely. He throws at an angle where he won't hit you. So, you can run around and try to dodge, or you can just do that. It's much easier to do that. You don't die as much. Must be some of the side levels that don't give you the one-ups at the end. Or maybe some of the later levels. Now, rocket ship. Taking off into space. Don't worry. While it's a nice space aesthetic there, we don't stay in space. We come back down to Earth. We don't chase them throughout the galaxy. Also, I've just really have always liked the music in this game. I hope you can hear it and enjoy it as well. Let's see. That's, you have a pause and you also have the screen where you can see flowers, stars, and something. <laughs> I always like this level because of the uh, bubble spitting crabs. I think that's P is our life. So, player, uh, so 14 lives currently. Hopefully, that's plenty. For us to finish the game with. Now, if you're not careful here, you can take some bad uh, hits because of the raccoons that fly out of nowhere and the bubbles from the crabs. I wasn't sure if I had dropped back down there to get the uh, flowers that we would have died since the ledge was just off. I don't know how far it needs to be off to kill us. <laughs> yes, you can hit yourself in the head with items. Like you just saw me do. And in two player, you can hit one another and stun yourselves, each other. Hilarious and fun thing to do. While you don't take heart damage, it does stun you. So you can get each other killed with it. Now you can also catch the boxes and throw them back and forth. So there's some fun there if you just want to volley back and forth with tennis. And we have some aliens. They will turn into us. Whichever player they see, they turn into first. They won't change a second time, just the first time. It's a great time for you to start throwing boxes at your friend or brother trying to kill the alien. You know good and well that he's not the alien. Oop. These little teddy bears can be irritating sometimes, depending on where they show up. In stage B, there's a couple spots where if you're not paying attention uh, or don't know that they're coming up, they will hit you with their spray. Oh yeah, this is another level that doesn't have a boss. There's a couple. There's a few of them. I think one of the side, some of the side, one of the side stages doesn't either. Uh, the aliens also appear in B, and there's actually an alien boss. It's a little spaceship that flies back and forth and drops aliens at you. Different, a different alien, but alien nonetheless. 
Okay, this level has some difficulty to it. Those storks can actually catch and throw the crates back at you. There's a few spots as we'll see coming up where there are spikes and fans. The fans will push you towards the spikes or just make it harder for you to move, as we can see right here. Uh, if I remember to, I will actually demonstrate the pelican throwing a catching and throwing a box back at us. Let's do that here. Yep. yep. Catch the mouth and throw it back. But they're not too bad though. Once you learn how high you can throw them, you send them in the leg and you're fine. Throw a little high there. Okay, I say they're not gonna be too bad. Then I'm going to screw up horribly, as always. Okay, even on, right as you're just on top of the fan, it still pushes you back some. Okay, and we got him. Okay, good. Is there a boss on this level? I don't remember. Hey, Monterey Jack. There's actually a boat in one of the levels. Uh, you can jump in and just sail around in, back and forth. Oh, zipper. With an apple. So there's a few in the game, but for the most part, they're not needed, and there's not a ton of them. Oh, ah, step too far, a little too far forward there before jumping. We have plenty of lives. I'm not going to try and get that stack. Oh, yep. I was thinking it was the caterpillar boss. You hit him, stand in the middle, then dodge. Oh, hit him. Hit him, stand in the middle, dodge. And rinse, repeat. And easy. Okay, we're not doing bad on time. Plenty of one ups. We've only taken the one death. Final stage, longest stage, hardest stage. Good music. Sort of glitched or was just at the right height there for the buzz bomb to not take the crate from us as we were ducking down. Oop, messed up the jump there. You can see you can take some bad deaths on the jumps here. I say bad deaths, but you know, you can argue whether they are or not. You can just get death chain by just screwing up. These guys also shoot plungers at you, as you can see, they also, I believe, two hits, and their plungers will decrate you if you're hiding in it, so you will need to be careful. There's actually a spot earlier that one of the problem, well, one of the hardest spots is, there's just no dodge room, <laughs> so you can just get hit a lot and killed or just get uh, hit a lot down like one health and you only have one health to finish the stage with. So we'll see that. Oh, I took a hit there. Threw his hat as you can see. We should be safe here for the drop. Yeah. I do not think there's a acorn nearby, but I will double check because we really want to have three health. not a health there. Hopefully we don't take a death coming up in a little bit here. Do not remember there's an acorn nearby. I think there's one in the area. Yep, okay, good. I've not looked to see if there's a trick for, I think, this part right here to go by without getting a hit. Okay, so we, we kind of glitched it again there, it looked like. Oh, he took one hit. Okay, uh, well, we actually got through without dying our first time. That was nice. Now we just gotta try to not die subsequently, because we are at one health. And I'm looking for an acorn. Actually, 
extra life was nice, though. You can see they give you a lot of flowers, so you can get a lot of extra lives. We're at 18 currently. Uh, I'm hoping not to take a death. Fat cats. Let's see if we can... Nope. Die immediately. That's fine. We start right back at them. I just gotta... Yep. You just watch your angle here as well. Uh, he's faster, so you gotta be a little more careful than the casino cat. If you move, he will change the angle of his ashes. Other than that, though, you can just in and out and get it. Oh, I just got an achievement. Be kind, don't rewind. Uh, since you can actually rewind in the game. And that, my friends, is the majority of Chippendale Rescue Rangers by Disney. I uh, hope you enjoy this uh, playthrough. Uh, we only skipped two levels. Uh, I may do a full let's play in the future. But I wanted to get this one in the bag. Uh, the Disney Afternoon Collection also has the second Rescue Rangers games, which a lot of people don't know about. But it also has a couple of DuckTales games. So we'll see about those in the future, perhaps, if people want to see those. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Have a good day. It's such good music.